Hey everybody, Modi Apparatus here, and welcome to another update for Rogue Legacy 2. Today we're in version 0.3, the Arcane Hollows update, which adds a ton more stuff once again, as all these updates have. We have two new character classes, we have a new area to explore, we have new systems to explore, we have uh, all kinds of stuff. So let's get into it here. I want to see how the game has changed. Next update's going to be in April, looks like. So we got a little ways to play this one. Uh, we're going to continue my legacy. I think this is where we left off. Let's take a look here quick. Um, let's go back. Yes, this is right. I am a little annoyed that it's uh, three nights, though. We got terrible luck there. Okay, so anything changed, though, here? We have a new trait, Antique. Freon's reward resolved to negative 25%. So the new resolve system we'll have to take a look at here. Also, the wind wall. We've had this before, but it looks like it's been redesigned because it's no longer uh, unlocked for us. We have White Star. We have Blaze Bellow. So these are new spell names, new spell changes. Uh, let's go with Antique Hermes Boots. Plays this character reveal. There's just disattune, less health, but you can only be hit in the heart. Oh, that's kind of cool. I do like that one. I do like that one. Okay, let's go with this one, though. So, new new class. Are you sure we continue your legacy with this area? Absolutely. Absolutely. So, we have... Uh, we're picking up right where we left off. Spend my gold. Oh, look at this. I said we're picking up right where we left off, but um, we're back at level 1. So, that's interesting. This character was level 80 when I loaded it. So, um, we can unlock everything, then, right away here. Healthcare unlocked. Let's go through some of this stuff, because it's changed, it looks like, certainly. Uh, we can now get traits, give bonuses. So they've changed this a bit, it looks like. We got bows for the ranger, okay. Uh, yeah, so oh, that explains why they're all knights, because nothing was unlocked yet. So we can unlock, uh, so this says level four. You may or must be a level four higher, so we just kind of unlock other things here. So they made it so it stretches out a little bit more. And it looks like they've added the animations here. I don't think it was like that before. Yeah, they, they've changed the way the castle looks. I like that. Okay, so let's go through this and just keep going here. So let's go let's go unlock vertically here if we can. So the Valkyrie's unlocked. Uh yeah, let's switch to the Valkyrie class. And here's the wizard unlocked. Mage, yes. I'm not gonna switch to the mage here. They've changed this for sure. I like it. I like it quite a bit. They're we're extending out the castle now. It's a good change. I dig it. See if there's anything that's new that I haven't seen before. Like, this one here is, uh, that's the same as before. The Lady Quinn. Uh, the dance unlocks the Duelist. Okay, we have unlocked him before. Let's unlock the Barbarian. I'm excited to unlock the new classes, though. There's two new classes in the game. We have Screw Distillery unlocks the Architect. Okay, that's new. The Architect, we can pay gold, and we can lock down the castle. This, this, was, this was in the last game, okay? So, if we, we can, we can, uh... Lock down the castle so we can find everything again in the exact same spots we left it. But the difference is the lack of gold in doing so, I believe. Uh, is the, uh, the work. The definition of old, the architects witnessed the death of the thousand suns. We'll see, seen the rise and fall of humanity to, to ape kind. Pay his fees and sure, assuage his ego and he'll lend you his powers to keep the kingdom from changing. Yeah, so that's what all he does. Cool. Over here we have, that one we had before, Meditation Studios. This is, a Psychiatric Ward. Reduce the architect's finding fee. Okay, we can almost get that one here. So let's, we'll add that on in a second here. Uh, psychiatrist increases your starting resolve. Now, this is a new system. So one of the things that we had criticisms for in the last round, and they fixed it immediately, is that we didn't like how relics were just not good. I'm, I think I think I have an episode called uh, Do Not Want, basically. For all the relics is just not like anything I ever want to take, you know? Um, so they changed that. To the new resolve system and the way it works is that you have a certain amount of resolve you can take uh so you can take relics before um they become they, uh, they bad for you so normally relics have a positive and negative this basically remo removes the negative until you get to a certain point and then they'll once you run out of resolve it will start uh decreasing like your health and that kind of thing so that's that's where the resolve system comes in we'll play with that here in a minute Let's just keep unlocking things here. Let's unlock the architect uh, upgrade here. Here we have the bamboo garden. Spin kick upgrades. There's another character here someplace. Let's see if we can find it. Okay, we got the duelist. Let's switch to the duelist. Okay, extend the castle walls out. I love it. Get the cook unlocked. Absolutely. Chef class is very fun. I like that. I love how the castle extends, though. That's a great change. 
Potions recharge your talent. Class talent. I like it. Uh, relics cost less health. Oh, I like a little balcony there. That's cool. You can now reroll relics? Yes. That's a cool little balcony. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Uh, let's see what else we do in lock here. Um, XP gain. Let's, let's go. Let's just keep digging. Let's keep, let's keep unlocking new things so that we see Assassin's Class. There's a new one. All right. Twin, two blades, three strikes. Assassins put the sass in sass. Trained in the art of three hit combos and the only three hit combo. Assassins are all about getting in and getting out after hitting the target three times. Unlocks the assassin class. Yes, we're going to play the assassin class today. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to... We're going to find the other class here, which I believe is called the Gunslinger. And we're not going to unlock it yet. Uh, right here, Gunslingers. So I'm not going to unlock that yet. I'm going to save that one for next time, because then after we take a run here, we can play as the other class then. How's that sound? Because it's a good idea, right? All right, let's just keep spending my gold here for now. Oh, you know what? Probably have to buy my upgrades back at the blacksmith here. Let's go, let's go and lock these couple things down here, and then we'll um, do that. Give Karen gold to grant stat bonuses. Ooh, that's different. And take uh, Karen to court to save your money. We have more gold gain for certain traits. We're building up the basement here, it looks like. No animation for those, apparently? Okay, well. Okay, we have 1,500 left to spend. Let's take a look and see how this has changed. So they've, they've said... They've expanded the docks quite a bit here because there's no more room here for people. So we have the 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 architect has a spot now and there is a uh, who are you? Oh, the pizza girl. Hey, hey, I'm talking about having lines yet. We'll chat another update. <laughs> Pretty good. What's this thing? Status effects and you armor break. You're, you're, you can puncture armor. All weapons damage increased by 20%. Magic break. Shatter enemies mental fortitude. Your attacks puncture armor. Spell damage increased by 20%. Frozen enemies become popsicles can no longer move. Deal damage to the or deal damage to the player. Hit a frozen enemy and break them out. Enemies that are immune to being frozen instead give the status effect of armor break. And then burn. They are ignited. Spore burst. Enemies can be infested with spores after 1.25 seconds. Explode. Dealing 200% intelligence damage to all nearby enemies. Mana leech. Suave. You are very cool. 24% of your intelligence added onto your weapon strikes. That's pretty cool. Cloaked, when enter the shadows, you become immune to all incoming damage, but cloaked, you have a 50% move bonus. Cool, so that's the, that's the assassin's ability is cloaked, it looks like. So they, um, this move here. So I, I get a, a damage bonus then. So I get three hit strike. That's the move, okay. Let's go take a look and see what we can do to the blacksmith here. So it looks like things that are already purchased here. So we can move on right to the good stuff here right away. Like like getting in the uh, animite, animite uh, stuff. So it has light plus 10% resolve. Okay, so that's good. It looks like that's interesting. So there's some weapons, some weapons that are heavier maybe. Well, let's go with what's going to be the most damage, which I believe is this guy here. No, it's actually this one. Warden weapon. We're gonna do the warden helm. Oh, okay, so look, we have we have our uh our as, as we equip more armor, we get less resolve. Aha! Aha! So by wearing like lighter armor, we can have more resolve. I get it, I get it. So now we're heavy. We got our warden level up. But uh, we have only 50% resolve. Still, I want to I want to wear enough armor to survive. So we're gonna wear the warden stuff here today. For now, and we'll mid max this later on. I'm sure. Cool. Let's go see how much damage we're doing now. About the same. With the crit of 24, I thought we had a 38 crit before. Okay. Uh, let's see if there's anything here to buy. Doing pretty good here. The life steal rune. First success, we don't have a rune slot available. Okay, we have to increase our rune abilities. Cool, we haven't found that one yet. Nice. What do I have on? The retaliation rune? That's pretty That's pretty good. Over encumbered? Oh, hold on a second. So quenching rune. Every time we get an armor, we drink a potion. We'll take that off then. I have 150 of... See, yeah, I have to boost my rune, rune weight back up again. 
130. Amplification. Now we're below weight. Okay. All right. Let's go spend the rest of our cash. We don't get to end up give it up to uh to Karen here, right? Let's just increase it wherever we can. There we go. There we go. So that puts us at level 55 then. That's interesting. I was at level 80 before the upgrade. I guess we have more classes now, right? Or maybe I didn't upgrade the same things in the same order. You know, it's always possible too. Okay. Finally, 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 let's get into the next level and see, uh, hey, friendo, want to hear some cool account stats? Currently, I'm holding 498 gold for you. I have a max of 1950 gold. My conversion rate is 14%. In total, I've given your dear old Karen 20,000 20, gold. Oh, my God. In return, he's boosted your stats by three. You're now 13,599 gold away from the next boss. That's kind of cool, actually. So the more gold we give to him, the more stat bonuses we get. Bonus. Bonus. I guess stat bonuses get bonus. Yeah. And we have uh, some things from the Living Totem here. We've unlocked a few things there. So that's all carried over. Okay, that's, that's at least worth it. All right, give him my remaining gold, which is zero. Sorry about that. But that's cool. That's really cool. All right, we're only like 10 minutes into this episode already. And just getting into the thing. But I want to check it out. So hope you guys don't mind me, uh, you know, investigating it a little bit. I'm sure that's what uh, people want to see with the update here, right? See what's changed. So, we should we go through the main area here? We should we just try to get into the next the next area? This is different, right? The golden doors won't open until estuaries are gathered together. That This is all that lies between us and home. If I can open it, I can fix everything. I can save everyone. So, the golden door. Throne rooms are currently sealed. So, the, gold, the, the door here, we defeat these five bosses and it unlocks. So, it looks like these three uh, this, uh, portraits remain. We've defeated two of them so far. The two estuaries. The golden door was a thing in the, the original game, right? We unlock the four enemies and it unlocks the final boss. So it looks like they're going through the same pattern here. Uh, we have the entrance of the Stygian study. Let's just go right to it. Let's get to the good stuff here. I mean, we wasted enough time in this episode already. We'll jump to the good stuff. So the Stygian study is the brand new area in this, in this, in this update. Um, it has changed dramatically. Oh boy. I like what's going on here. So it, wherever I land, it stops. Oh, that's kind of fun. Whew, okay. Good start. Already took damage. Oh, I didn't know I kept doing that. Well, we got some meat there at least. All right. So not a great start. So if we go to the shadows, it's on a cooldown right now. Looks like I have to hit something nine more times to unlock that. And the, the way that works is, let's take a look at the profile real quick. So Obscura, avoid all enemy attacks, recharges on hit. So we have to get hit and attack you while in the effect. So that's not great. Oh, that's bad. Uh, okay, let's just get through this. There we go. I like that everything's like a chest here. So if I land someplace here, I shouldn't be able to get hit? Yes, okay. I like it. Oh, boy, that sucks. What? Oh, those, those, those paintings are back. Those paintings were such a nuisance in the first game. Oh man, down to five HP already. Dang. All right. Well, we're back to our old things here. So that is not good. Now we know. Be wary of floating paintings. I thought it looked like a bookcase though. 
Yeah, I was that was just I shouldn't have hopped up there. I should have waited a second. Alright, been slain. Lady Pepper has been slain by a blaze lock. Okay, so let's go try the gunslinger then too. Or we'll see what we get here, really. So we have Lady Beatrix, Lady Faye 5. Or Lady Julia 5. Okay, this one has a new a thing, Antique. And then Glowing Ember Resolve minus 25%. This one is nothing here. So let's go with the trade here. I have a Resolve minus 25%. We have not much to spend, unfortunately. Uh, I actually could spend a couple things, though. Get the armor up, okay. Alright, Glowing Ember, we got ourselves this. Oh, I was going to unlock the... Uh, oh, I should have paid attention. I was going to unlock the next class. We needed 1,500. Well, I didn't have enough to unlock it anyways. Okay, hold on a second. Let's get through another run here. We'll take the take this guy out. We'll get 1,500. We'll come back and, fight and get the other character. That'll work. That'll work. Of course, this is a chef. We should last much longer here, right? All right, let's get into a new area here. Stygian Study. Here we go. The Stygian Study's gotten a makeover and looks really good. I mean, I don't know why I expected any less, but the statue right there? That's great. I wonder if the way that this is gated is I, I can stand on these things? Maybe? What are those? So if I jump, they activate, it seems like. Or does they activate on their own? They have a cooldown. Oh, they saw, they saw me there. All right. We got to remember to use the deflection of this character. That's the big deal, huh? Can I deflect this guy? No, I can't. But if he shoots anything out, I can deflect that. Oh, big hit there, though. All right, don't forget I can heal with this guy, too. So that's always good. So we're in a new area here with something secret there. I can't believe I left my notes behind. I can't complete my research without them. I can't get past these void doors without Palace's heirloom. Ooh. I don't think any of the guards will get my notes for me. So perhaps I should try to curry her favor on my own. She's somewhere in the study. And her power of the void would be very beneficial. So in the study, into the void is our next uh, objective here. Oh, you throw it now too, huh? Okay. All right. Oh, why did I jump around its head? Whew. Let's let that fire do its thing. All right, we're surviving. Ever so slightly. Oh, those things are the worst. I remember those. No mana left. Uh, time to heal, I think, is what the answer is. Let's juggle them. Nice. So what is the, what is the relic I have? I have Antique Glowing Ember. 75% more damage on the fifth hit. Oh, this is something. Hey, look at this. We have the special area oh javelin maiden got me did i get 1500 please tell me i got 1500 oh not enough maybe plus whatever they're holding for me all right let's try the barbarian because i believe the barbarian was reworked a little bit yeah i can't afford it yet shoot all right. Well, that'll be next episode then. I don't think we can get another run in here. Um, we have 1,300 though only. Oh, man. We're so close. Well, let's suspend it then. Let's suspend it. Um, oh, no. Yeah, we have 1,300. Oh, shoot. All right. Let's just go do it. Give. Give. Oh, we don't have any more gold to give you. I was going to say. Could have given more gold to cheer on, but uh, sorry. 
I do like that you give stat increases the more gold you give it to it, though. So there's not like a... Oh, I, I didn't realize it's like a flatulence character. All right, back to this Digian study again. This place is super dangerous, though. And we actually even found a single relic yet. Am I little? I'm so little. Okay. I didn't realize I was little. Oh, no, I'm not little. It was just a zoomed out shot there for some reason. Oh, can't deflect those anymore. That uh, was quick. That was quick, too. How am I going to deal with this guy? Nice. Okay. That's how we deal with that guy. Look how much health we have, though. Nothing could go wrong with this character. Oh! Gotta remember my kicks. Oh, I barely got that one out. All right. Oh, another pain! That like, gave me every single time! I hate those paintings! They always get me! I gotta remember to look for those now. It's an old face. Not, not, not happy to see it. Yeah, there's another one. See, I saw a painting now this time. They blend right in. It's great. I mean, that's how they're supposed to do, right? The Doom Voss. It, I can actually stun them quite a bit with this. Like, like stop them from moving. Like, I just stop the Doom Voss from going forward altogether. Did I freeze it? I was trying to freeze it there. I ran out of options. Oh, I can't even do anything about it. Take the damage, I guess. Okay. <gasps> I didn't think he was going to be like me. Oh, it's a mimic! Is poison coins? I don't think I can kill this thing. Let's see if I can kill it when its eyes back open. I'm going to be dead here in a second. Nope, we can't do anything about it. All right, what am I doing with these guys? Oh, come on. That's safer. Oh, that was not safer. No. Oh my God. I just need 1500 bucks, please. Let's get that guy triggered so we can go up there. That was a good find, okay. Oh, come on. I'm so close to 1500. Ooh, what is this? Uh, do I dare go in there? Like, that seems like a bad thing. This is something. This is something. I don't know what we're looking at here, though. Oh, I touched the thing. There was a mimic coming in. Hopefully, I got 1500 there. Please. Please tell me I got 1500. 13, 10. Oh, my God. Well, actually, with what's added back at the house, I should be okay. Let's go take a look at that. Make sure. Oh, this has Vertigo and uh, Antique. I don't want to do that. Uh, let's go with the the Valkyrie here. Let's go take a look and see. With the money we have in the safe, I think we should have enough. We can get it. Cool. Unlock the Gunslinger class. Fantastic. Let's switch it over. And then uh, I think what we'll do is we'll wrap up this episode there. We'll come back with the Gunslinger next time. And uh, see what it's all about. Ooh, that's a little, just a little taste, though, of what we're going to be doing around here. 
Anyways, guys, thank you so much for checking out this episode of Rogue Legacy 2 and the Arcane update. I'll be back for another episode very soon. See you then.